when we talk about biodiversity, we talk about life on Earth. When we talk about biodiversity loss, we are talking about destroying life on Earth. Biodiversity is sometimes in the shadow of the climate change, which is uh, extremely important, but we should understand that biodiversity is actually the other side of the same coin. Biodiversity. It is the foundation of life on Earth. Human well-being is intertwined fundamentally with biodiversity. The impact of human activities on biodiversity is influencing feedbacks to the climate system. We have lost 30% of the biodiversity on this planet in just 40 years. And in the tropics we're talking about 60% declines in biodiversity. At the end of the day, the things that are causing the most catastrophic collapse to biodiversity, climate change, deforestation. And without adequately addressing tropical deforestation, we cannot have an answer to climate change. Saving the rainforest is not an option. The Amazon is the, now the, the, the lung of the world. Cattle is the main driver of forest destruction. And 80% of the area that is destroyed in the Amazon is occupied by cattle today. This is zeroing. They're making room just to feed cows. So they're chopping down a bunch of trees. Yeah, but they're not just chopping down any trees. They're chopping down the most beautiful, majestic, biodiverse rainforest in the, on the planet. You know, meat and dairy really are the primary concern here. Uh, Brazil is a net producer of meat. Animal feed is coming from uh, Latin America, which is also contributing to deforestation and so to climate change. We have been discussing the climate change issue Porque o dinheiro que vai ser and more vez, and more we see that é um the problem is even more severe than we could have ever imagined. So we have to strike a balance. Well, for instance, instead of producing so much cattle, huh? so much livestock and, and all this devastated area where they are breeding cattle why not to produce more soya? we should consume much more and this would benefit the health of us of me, you and everyone in the world less consumption of meat only helps your health and climate change. We would be addressing not just deforestation, but the problems of erosion and loss of clean drinking water. Uh, we would also be enabling people to live a healthier and longer life. So there's, I think, three good reasons, biodiversity, climate change, and personal health to reduce the consumption of meat. Today, something like 25% of all land is in some form or the other used for meat Food. So, if we could somehow think of more efficient ways of making use of the same land, I think that would be a huge favor that we do ourselves. So, we should reduce our meat consumption, in my opinion, as well. Yeah, being vegetarian can really have a big impact on this big issue, which is the loss of biodiversity. The protection of biodiversity means that we have to reduce emissions and uh, the consumption of resources. And that means that we have to change our lifestyle. Our lifestyle is much too heavy for the nature and the ecosystems. And especially our eating habits have to be changed. Uh, I think we eat too much meat and we eat too much fish. And we have to reduce both and uh, be more uh, vegetarian. Join us in this effort. Reduce meat. People shouldn't just be lobbying their MPs about aviation and things like that. They should also be lobbying them about the livestock sector. I think that's really important. It is important, as you know well in this room, that we change our behaviour and that we learn how to be better stewards of this earth. So I admire the way in which you are also putting a lot of emphasis on your own lifestyles, what you eat, what you grow, and how you behave. 
una de las contribuciones importantes. One of the important contributions that we could make to lower carbon emissions is a change in our diets. That is the change we need, the change that will guarantee us a much better quality of life on a much better cared for planet than the one we have today, which is what we all want. Hoy en día tenemos qué es lo que todos queremos. Esta noche es una noche excepcional. This night is an exceptional night. Una noche de luces. A night of lights. Una noche en que la maestra suprema. A night in which Supreme Master Ching Hai enlightens us with her presence to bring help to those who are already suffering the consequences of this terrible phenomenon which threatens our planet and all its inhabitants. Y a todos sus habitantes. I will disseminate what is agreed on here, what is proposed here, and all the solutions that are put on the table and in this organization. I shall make them as my own, with my family and with all the inhabitants of the municipality. Be fetch, go green to save the planet. Save the planet.